Hello everyone, welcome to Manmaker. I am Ranjan Kumar Khalindi and today we are going to talk about uh, PL Probationary Engineer exam. As you know, your exam is on this month, 31st May. So, things you should know before your exam, like what will be the safe score you need to score so that you can crack this exam and how many questions you need to attempt from technical section and non-technical section and the necessary thing you need to carry for your in your exam center okay everything we are going to discuss today for pdf and more updates you can join our telegram channel this is my telegram channel name here you will get class update notes and pdf everything so kindly join that one okay so now first we are going to talk about what will be the safe score for uh, to crack this exam okay now if you see the if you see the previous cutup previous cutup for uh, mechanical branch and electronics branch like uh, as you know before on 2023 provisionary engineer exam happened in that if you see the cut up for mechanical engineer for ur category there will be 90 marks and 90 will be the cut up 90 was the cut up and obc 91 ews 83 sc 85 and ht 79 this is for mechanical i have both the data so i gave this mechanical and electronics also so for electronics as we are i am teaching here for electronics so for electronics for last year 2023 cut up was 71 for ur category this is cvt cvt cut up then for obc it was 69 ews it, it was 68 and for sc it was 61 and for st it was 59 okay this is the previous year cut up so if you see for mechanical okay if we talk about for mechanical in 2023 okay in 2023 if you talk about mechanical for uh, then uh, to in uh, 2023 it was total 63 vacancy came for mechanical and for ece for electronics and com communication it was 142 before on 2023 but this time this is what 2025 into 20, uh, 2025 the total post for mechanical is 150 and for ec it was 200 or it is 200 okay so 200 post is there for um, uh, electronics communication so as you can say as you can see here number of post is also increases okay number of post also increases and this time so many people have applied for this exam many people many people have applied for this exam means competition is high you can say okay and this time everything is available source previous year question and they can uh, came to know what is the exam pattern and all these things before when 2023 it was there that time there is no source of anything even they don't know what kind of pattern of exam uh, because that time previous year question is not there, syllabus is not there, but this time at least people are known and I already provided material also, so people also they know, so you can imagine how much competition is high and uh, for like uh, for this time for 2025 I am telling about for electronics because I am teaching for electronics only, so this time at least for UR category you need to at least score 78 to 83 marks okay 78 to 83 or you can say 80 plus you need to score for written exam in the written exam out of 125 okay and for obc uh, OBC, uh, obc you need to at least 75 plus you need to grab the marks for ews same you need to uh, at least 73 uh, to 75 like that you need to score then for sc category sc category at least you need to go for 68 to 72 okay 68 try to get at least 68 plus and for st category try to get 65 plus marks for um, this time this 2025 i am telling you like this you can expect uh, this time cut up for uh, this exam okay it may be increases and it may be decreases but my guess it will increase the mark because so many people are there and this time they will fully prepared for exam and all 
so you need to grab at least this all the marks okay as you know your syllabus is uh, this much only they will ask 25 percent for general aptitude and technical aptitude 100 percent i already told you like from here 12 question you will get from related to gk and uh, um, 13 question from reasoning how you will get 13 full marks in uh, uh, this reasoning uh, i already explained i told you which material and what uh, video you need to follow that you need to cover and from this 12 marks at least you need to uh, get at least try to from gk if your gk is good then okay try to get marks good marks but at least from here try to get 6 to 10 like that you need to 6 to 10 or 6 to 8 like that you need to uh, attempt a question because negative marking is also there so if you feel confident like huh, this is the correct correct so for that only you just try to get 6 to 8 apart from that if you go 8 plus then it will be good for you okay so at least minimum try to score 6 marks in 12 out of 12 of gk then from 13 marks i already told you how to prepare for that one and if you prepare like that i am damn sure you will mm, grab 13 marks pakka and if you not at least you try to minimum marks at least you try to grab from here 10 marks okay so i am just telling you what will be the safe means what how much uh, uh, how many question you need to attempt for this one so from 25 try to get 15 plus question means 15 minimum is 15 minimum 15 marks you need to uh, grab from this non technical part okay then technical part technical they are ask, uh, they are going to ask 100 question okay they are going to ask 100 question at least you try to get here at least 75 plus you need to try at least 75 if not then minimum you can go here at least 65 okay 65 65 plus at least 65 minimum 65 you need to uh grave marks from 100 okay 65 at least 65 you can i know you can uh grab this mark 65 at least so if you get 65 here and if you get at least 15 here so you will uh at least you will get 75 and your safe score is from my point of view if you get 75 plus that will be your safe score for clear this exam okay so like this at least you try you prepare your technical thing and non technical thing from technical part try to get at least 65 plus and from this part try to get at least 15 plus like that you need to prepare already i gave you material and all uh, i gave you short uh, notes and subject wise uh, mcq five set of model paper in that you will get uh, 125 question for non tech part if you prepare that one also that much is enough for non technical and uh, that video i told you for reasoning that you need to cover and uh, 100 question uh, you will get in each set means total 500 important question is there so from there and these all question and whatever video classes i have taken i sent you in a single playlist who have taken this material till now i have given all things that much only if you prepare pakka you will get 70 plus okay that much if you prepare and how you you will prepare i told about this 15 uh, last 15 day plan how you will prepare for that so like this if you cover all this thing like that whatever material i sent you that notes you need to prepare means uh, not only question that the explanation part i gave you from there also chances is there to come question so like that you need to make notes and uh, that video i told you about video how which part you need to follow first and uh, how you will go to complete that 12 or 13 video classes is there still uh, i will upload more two videos regarding to your your important question just be update on that i will up, up, upload soon and uh, non technical pass this 125 questions means whatever i gave you in pdf and then that video classes reasoning video classes that much you do that much is enough you will easily score 15 plus on that okay and from here if you complete this thing and this book and that video classes then pakka you will get 70 uh, 70 plus marks okay 
Apart from that, if you have any kind of notes like your VTEC time, you have made notes or you have any other sources uh, related to this syllabus and related to this level of uh, question, practice from there also because that much that will be also important for your exam. Whatever material you are getting, not only this month, not only this much, if you are getting from anywhere, any other material apart from this. First cover this thing, then go for that. Also, you need to cover that one also. That will be also important for your exam. Those who haven't taken till now, this is my WhatsApp number. Just do WhatsApp and take this one and practice for last 10 days is there. Just complete this one. Paka, you will grab good score. Okay. Now, the thing is uh, reasoning part. I told you about reasoning, which videos you need to cover. This thing I already explained. Now, necessary, necessary thing required to carry in exam. This is important little bit because so many people I got messages like what they need to carry in the examination hall and all. So, just check your uh, admit card. I hope you have already downloaded. Everyone have downloaded their admit card. So, in admit card below, you will get instruction part. There they gave instruction. I am brief. I am shortly. I am telling you no need to read all this thing. Whatever I am telling you, just go with them. First thing you need to carry here, that is your admit card. Okay. That is your admit card. Okay. Admit card, first page. Only first page. No need to take print out of this instruction. instruction wala. Okay. Only first part is there. That first page is there. Try to take color print out. If black and white, no issue. But try to take color print out. Only that one. Wala. First page. Okay. That, that is required. And along with this, you need one government ID card. Government ID card. Okay. Government ID card. Either it is your uh, Aadhaar card. Okay. Pain card, Aadhaar card, passport, driving license, voter ID card. Anything you can carry. Uh, uh, in that, you just check whether your date of birth is mentioned full or not. Suppose your date of birth is 12 January. 1994 so it should be mentioned 12 january 1994 not only year in some other card you will see uh, you will um, see there is only year is mentioned okay that is they, they will not allow you should in your uh, whatever card is there id card in that full voter uh, i mean full date of birth should be there your name whatever name is there in your admin card that name should be matched with your id card so that is important. Okay. So that thing you need to carry. Try to carry two card. Okay. If you have Aadhaar card and pen card, you take both the both one. Okay. Uh, there may be uh, when they are doing biometric, they will face any difficulty with one ID card. They will follow another one. So try to take at least two card. Okay. Either it is Aadhaar card or pen card. Like that, you carry two card. Apart from that, no need to carry anything. They will not allow anything. May they allow pin, but uh, I think uh, may, they may allow, but in some location may they not allow. So uh, at least you take pin. There they will, if they will fail, no, not uh, this thing also not allowed. So uh, uh, you will not take. But uh, in my, I think uh, they will allow pin. So admit card, ID card, or this pin you need to carry. Apart from that. No need to carry anything. No need to carry anything. Not a water bottle also. Okay. So this much only. And for girls, no need to wear this earring and nose pin and all these things. They will remove all these things. So go simply. Metal things they will not allow inside. Okay. And uh, about calculator. So many people have messaged me like uh, calculator is allowed or not. Like uh, in gate exam virtual calculator is there but in this exam no calculator is there not a virtual or not a manual they will not allow this calculator so calculator is not there in exam only these three things you need to carry okay apart from that they will not allow anything okay so and before half an hour means whatever time is mentioned in your admit card i think it is 9 to 11 so before 8.30, you try to reach your examination center, whatever examination center is there for you. Before 8.30, at least try to be there in your examination, enter your examination center at 8 o'clock. Within 8 o'clock, 
because uh, some processes are there like biometric they have to do and all these things so for that they will take some time so try to get in in the exam center in eight o'clock okay and uh, uh, this much only and everything i explained uh, before also means how much how much question will come and uh, uh, what is the negative marking everything i have discussed so you just go over, uh, with these three things that is necessary for your exam okay apart from that uh, uh, apart from that uh, uh, this much only this is the necessary thing i have explained uh, everything okay so whatever is there just prepare like that this is very easy exam i am telling you personally because um, this is easy exam only okay if you prepare well you will pakka crack this exam so still time is there don't be distracted focus in your study whatever material i gave you or what whatever material you have from anywhere just prepare with that and try to get 75 plus out of 125 you will crack this exam okay apart from that later i will discuss more things so till then this is the important for you just be prepared for your exam okay thank you for today if you like the video just hit like a like on a button kindly share with your friend and if you not subscribe my channel just subscribe the channel and press the bell icon okay best of luck for your exam thank you